your thoughts about the first game, Coach? Well, I tell you, Ron, I, as I told the press yesterday uh, in the locker room, that I was pleased with the opening game as far as the offensive team. Uh, I was more concerned about the offense not doing well in an opening ball game than I was the defense, and obviously that's not what happened in the ball game. Uh, when you make over 500 yards and score 37 points and only fumble one time for Oklahoma, <laughs> that, that's a major upset. For the first game. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they were counting on some turnovers. As anyone that plays Oklahoma, they expect Oklahoma to help them. And uh, Al Kincaid, their fine coach of Wyoming, uh, said he was very disappointed. Oklahoma played nearly error-free football. And if we had not played uh, the way we had on offense, we would probably had an opportunity to get beat in the ball game because they're... Our defense uh, didn't allow that many yards, actually rushing yards. Only when a team only rushes for 128 yards on you, you're not that concerned. The thing that happened was their passer, Phil Davis, their quarterback, hit on third down conversions the key passes to control the ball in the ball game. And we played very poor in the secondary. We knew we were going to have some question marks there. We're very young. We'll get better. And I think we'll become a good defensive football team. Uh, we've got six sophomores starting, and obviously they're not... Uh, uh, seasoned players yet, but they will be, and I think that we can end up having a good team, and I think it was a good opening ball game, even though it scared some people. Let's take a look at the highlights right away. Let's get the first quarter action. Ball control was the key in Wyoming's first drive. In fact, they took it down for a score, Coach, and uh, I tell you what, you always want to stop a team on the opening drive. And <laughs> good well, that's why we, we had the uh, choice here. We decided to defend the south goal, kick off, and play field position. That's why you kick off. You want to stop them, kick it in the end zone, stop them to the 13-yard line like we do here on, and and control the game with our defense, force a punt, and, the, and our offensive team take it in midfield, a great field position. There's good defense. They run the fullback trap, his own play in the middle, and our defense, Slater. Now, boy, that's great film. That's really great film. Quarterback sprints out and runs with it. End dropped off in containment, but there comes Stephen Whaley, 50 back, 57 back to make the play. Fine senior defensive end from Cleveland, Oklahoma. Riley, 50, slapping him, congratulating. Davis sprints out, and here's a key third down. There he hits him. Martinez, fine receiver. 26 there for first and 10. Although they have Option play, they pitch the ball outside, and Sanji comes back with Gary Lowell and finally make the play on first and 10. Too much yards on first and 10. And the ball to fullback, two yard gain, and not as uh, obviously the run inside twice and only average about a yard per play. Full pitch outside now, and here we go in the option play again. And of course, that's supposed to be Oklahoma's play, not theirs. We're playing past too much here with our secondary. No secondary support. You can see that we're not. Uh, uh, containing the play, they hand the ball on the inside belly for three yards, they hand the ball off in the counter play, we handle the inside running game. Their people weren't good enough blockers to control us. Uh, Mike Riley hits him uh, along with the interior of the line. Uh, a couple yard gain. It's now, what, fourth and one? Fourth and one. And they go on the sneak and make it. Key plays. They had four out of 15 third down conversions, but they had a lot uh, right at the beginning there. They had like three or th three in a row or something like that. So they had. Uh, Key third down conversions. Now we have a first and ten. Davis's pass intended for Martinez incomplete. Barry and Walker on the coverage. You talked about your defensive secondary coach, Little Young. Sophomore safety. There's a Thomas Benson, 38, coming to make the tackle on the off tackle play zone play with Wyoming fullback. 38, sophomore. Ship, 49, sophomore. Johnny Lewis, 95, nose guard. Slater at left tackle and Brian at right tackle. Another third down completion by Davis, complete to Martinez. Sanji on the down. coverage. Picks up nine on that. Back to first and ten again as we look at the Wyoming bench. They see the running game. The, they haven't moved the football with the running game other than the two option plays outside made some pretty good yards, but nothing inside but their fullback. But the pass has been their key weapon. It's third and two. It's OU 15. A little mix up there in the backfield. Davis keeps it. He comes up short. That brings up a fourth and one. Wyoming's going to attempt a field goal. 30-yarder by Tobin. And uh, they're going to have a quick 18-play uh, drive, 73 yards there. They're going to go on the board first with a 3-0 lead as Tobin lines it up for a 30-yard field goal attempt. They had to get something out of this, and you almost had a... We were all wondering in the press box why they went fourth and one before and didn't go for well, it. You know, I here. commented on sidelines with our coaches. I said that th that's a mistake that should go for it because they're going to have to score touchdowns to beat us. I felt like we would score, and the uh, field goals wouldn't win it. I... Uh, uh, you know, last year we played Kentucky, and I thought Kentucky was a much better football team, tougher, more physical than Wyoming. They are, and we were behind seven to nothing at the half. Here goes a big play for the Sooners. A great uh, return all day, punt and kickoffs, coach. Here's one in a beautiful Rimes. field. Beautiful, beautiful field. Oklahoma Sooners, both end zones. Rhymes in return. Pick the ball, Buster. 
41 yard line. Field position. You talk to the press about that every year, about the fact you get good field position. You start off Kelly Phelps, a quarterback. Weldon Ledbetter, fullback. Rhymes and Winters, halfback. Hand the ball to Weldon Ledbetter. He's got strength and speed and picks up about nine, so it's second and one. The 49 yard line. Penalty moved the ball offside. Penalty on OU offside moved the ball <clears> back five yards. Bechtall at center, Key and Crouch at guards. Byford, cover tackles. Jeff Williams at tight end. And we jump off sides, one of our eight offensive penalties. Boy, you think that didn't upset you. We went through preseason, I bragged on them about how well we had done through preseason practice. And not making any of those rhymes and belly plays for about what, 9, 10, 12. 10 yards for Buster Rhymes at 94 yards and nine carries yesterday. That's a great start for the sophomore. Here's a replay of that, Coach. Uh, good blocking up front. Your good execution. Good line play. Big hole over the right side. Buster good picking up running yards. right there, but Buster. Buster weighs 215 from 195 as a freshman. And the ball to Ledbetter. Makes a couple. Brings up a third and three situation from the Wyoming 39-yard line. And we have to mention there was no clock at the game yesterday, so we all have to estimate the time of what all this was happening. Third and three from the Wyoming 39. We run the blast play. Get close Picks up to two. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. The Sooners decide to go for it. And it wasn't the right play. Got penetration. I don't like that play. Tell our coaches quit running. That. <laughs> so it's Wyoming takes over. Play. And there you are, telling the coaches not to run that play again. It's, it's not. First and ten for Wyoming on their own 37-yard line. Davis again back to pass. Completes one to Mike. And Daryl Sanji on the tackle. Picks up nine on the play. Brings up a second down in one situation. Good first down play for well, Wyoming. I, I can't believe the film here. This, this is great quality. I didn't expect you guys to do this. Kind of <laughs> 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 Wishbone, fullback option. Davis cuts inside. Good north-south uh, south runner here. And he's six. got more quickness and speed than you think. Everyone talked about his uh, ability to throw the ball, but at the same time, he was good at uh, throwing, I mean, uh, running the option play, too. Third down in two Sprint situation. Out. Key play. Look at him drill that ball. So Martinez good coverage. again. Aaron <laughs> Walker has good coverage on him. He just drilled it in there perfectly. That brings up first and ten again. Walter Goffigan. There's Benson making three. a play along with the defensive front. We'll sprint out again. And the Oklahoma 31-yard line is right over the post route. Yeah, here's uh, Sanji running right with him. It's hard to... And a touchdown right first there. First and ten right touch in. there. White green safety gets there. But it's touchdown. That's the James Williams of Wyoming. Uh, the extra point was good. Well, all of a sudden was out in front, 10 to nothing. Coach, uh, when they went up ahead uh, by 10, what were you thinking then? You knew well, it had to first quarter, you know, we're going to... I, I thought the, the impression I have is neither team, defensive team, could stop each other at this time. Uh, we're obviously moving the football, we're going to move the football, and I thought maybe it was going to get to be a scoring contest. As Buster Rhymes again on the kickoff, did a great job. Good stiff arm, heads to the outside. He's got shows great the, speed. That's why he does a good job out here with people. <laughs> he's also put out a lot of weight, and he's a tough runner. He goes out to the 32-yard line, and that'll just about wrap it up for the first quarter of Oklahoma's opening game against Wyoming. And score at the end of the first quarter was 10 to nothing, and uh, still had a lot of football left. We'll take a look at a 17-point second quarter by the Sooners when we come back. They found themselves in a 10 nothing hole, but coach, it came out like gangbusters. Well, we, uh, of course, you know, 10 to nothing kind of concerns you when you, and certainly in the first ball game, Ron, that uh, you don't know what to anticipate and expect. And we haven't fumbled the ball yet, and I know we're going <laughs> to make some of those errors. We, uh, we start moving the football here, and I think uh, we show that our offense is going to be able to, to score some points, and here we go right now with it, and see Chet Winters uh, runs inside the belly. We're averaging certainly more per carry than they, they are. It's just uh, we're going to be able to stop and contain their defense when they have the football. Winner's got nine on first and ten at the OU 31. It's the first play of the second quarter and, and second one at the OU 40. We have a motion penalty here. These, this will be the second of the game for our offense. Uh, I think one of our guards uh, called in motion as Kelly Phelps turns up. Good quickness on the option play. Gets about four, but we're going to have a penalty. So it's going to bring it back that we're going to be second and six. OU 35, and here goes Kelly on the option play. And, Fine run to Kelly, gets the ball, what, the 37-yard run, first and 10. Hope we see that again. Yeah, we do here. Weldon Ledbetter fullback, option play, good job blocking with a tight end there. Super job of blocking uh, uh, tight end. It's a great block for Buster Rhymes. He's getting better. 
safety, you better get on your horse. You're not fast enough to catch Phelps. He's got four or five speed, and 22 is the guy that's going to have to get him. But you had another penalty, Coach, right after this, an offsides, which pushed it back that's to the... That's right. We lost, we... Uh, 18 yards. We're going to have a clipping penalty, too, Blake. We're on, I tell you what, right here, we could have had a penalty right here. We hand the ball a good, tough run, but Weldon Ledbetter picks up about six or seven. Our tight end, our quarterbacks aren't letting our tight ends when we shift them from unbalanced, from regular formation to unbalanced. They're, they're getting down, he's snapping the ball, we're going to get a motion penalty because of it. And, oh, wide open on the screen. And he underthrows him, Kelly underthrows him, got to get the ball higher, higher release, and we've had a chance on the screen right there, and we have a bust, and Kelly went the wrong way. Sophomore era, that's, those are the things that happen. He never did that a time in practice go the wrong way on that option play, and he, he busts here. And we throw him to throw, Kelly on the throws, Grayson had him beat on the post route, and, and uh, we have to kick the field goal, and of course we hit the field goal here. Mike kicked the ball well in the ball game, which is a little bit stronger on his kickoffs, and we hit that, and of course it's 10-3, and we've cut the margin to seven points. It was a 69-yard drive in eighth place for the Sooners, and Tell you what, they uh, finally got on the board. Now they're going to really start getting their offense going again. Mike Keeling, a good job as we see some of the cheerleaders at the game. Good crowd. It was very hot on the field. Needless to say, we're going to talk about that probably in a little bit. Kick off, seven-yard line. Pretty good coverage here. That's good coverage. Mike Riley, 50, makes a play, tackle. They run the hand the ball to fullback. It's too much. They let them make five yards here. Zone play. we got a different quarterback in the ball game now. Davis is out. Number nine is in the game. Brings up a third down and three situation. So that's the way you play the option play. Secondary is getting a little bit better in support there. Jackie Shep, good play. Well, inside linebacker went out and made the play. They got to punt the football. Now we start making them punt in the ball game. And, and we kick. Albert Watts, our defensive team has done a super job working on the punt return. You got to believe in the punt return. You got to work on it. And we worked hard in practice and it paid off. I hope our players recognize that because we got some big plays in the punt return. The walls we worked on, setting up, everybody busting the gut to get down there. We got a guy, a freshman here from Los Angeles, California. He's a good athlete, got great speed and hands, and he makes a pretty good return here for good field position for our offense. Let's go score with it. Let's not make any mistakes. Well done, Ledbetter for about four. Second and six, motion. We run the counter option, play, pitch the ball to Rhymes. Goodbye. Great block. Sooners. Great block. Great right. speed. Touchdown. 39 yards. Score in a hurry there. Just as quickly. Great as field it. position to do it. That's exactly right. Start off with good. Let's Option take a look at play. it. Again. Good pitch. Kelly. Kelly's going to turn up. In takes Kelly. Pitches the ball. Great pitch to Buster. Great block inside. Chet Winters. Good block. Chet's the best blocker we got on the football team. Look at there. He had a couple of good blocks. That's why Buster can make those long runs like that. You got a guy who can block like that. Buster, you need to do that for Chet. 43-yard <laughs> drive and just two plays for the Sooners. And just as quickly as they were down 10 to nothing, they came back to tie it up to 10. Mike Keeling adds the extra point. And we're all knotted up at 10. Midway through the second quarter. Oklahoma Sooners again. We're going to kick off to Wyoming and uh, see the Sooner schooner. You know, we had to put rubber tires on the schooner and, and put the rubber shoes on the horses. <laughs> or we couldn't have warranty on our field. I mean, uh, surface we have this year. We've put super turf down, uh, uh, people out of Dallas Chevron, and uh, we like the field. They painted it for us. We've got a beautiful surface here now, but we've got to put the shoes and the tires on the <laughs> keep wagon. The, keep the keep warning. There we see the Oklahoma in the end zone. That is very impressive as the Sooners kick off. A little breakdown here, Coach. Well, Baron Walker's got great speed, and he gets over. We, that's another area where we can uh, kick and game. There's Baron Walker. Uh, He's got great speed, the sophomore from Laporte, Texas, and he knocks him out of bounds. There they go. I tell you what, he zips it in right in there. They come out throwing. And he nearly hit him in the seam right there. Uh, Martinez is a good receiver. He caught about, what, nine passes. Nice he pass. was half their offense. Belly, oh, that's a good stick here. Jackie Ship, 49, hit him right in the mouth. Back to throw. He lays it deep. Mm, Close. Very low on the coverage. Brings up a third down and 15. And the time on a draw play, delayed draw. Slater makes the play. Force him to punt again. Good. Let's punt it. This time he gets it to drop out of bounds on the 18-yard line. 32-yard kick, no return. And the Sooners are going to take over. Second possession in the third quarter. Belly play. Ryan. Hold on that ball. Busted. Picks up, what, nine, ten yards. 
I think it's nine yards. We, I think we have a penalty coming up right here next to one. And run the ball on the counter play. Rhymes again. Picks up four. four. Second and three now. And here comes the only, only fumble, mistake fumble, of the fumble, day. Fumble, 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 fumble. Right there. Dash look over, give him the football. They take over on the Oklahoma 25-yard line. Hmm. First we got penetration right here. I think that the, uh, it was just Kelly coming out from the fullback. He rushed his mechanics with the fullback, and he was trying to step around the fullback and didn't have the ball out of his pocket yet. He was just in a little bit of a hurry there. And Davis goes right back upstairs. Going deep. That's good coverage here. Gary low. Brings up second and ten. Mm. About five yards by Charlie Moore. Jackie Ship on the tackle. Third down and five situation. Option Maybe play. I'm going over on Tony Benson. There's Jackie Ship making the play. Benson overruns. Benson with the tackle in for no gain or a loss. They've got the kick at the field goal. They do hit it. It's 35 yards. It's good. And four six left in the half. And it's 13 to 10. Wyoming. And the Sooners are going to come on their sixth possession of the first half here as Wyoming kicked off for the Oklahoma Sooners. So just take yeah, over on the own 20. That's a good block set on us. There's old Big Ed Culver running downfield there. There's Kelly Phelps on the open field. Now, what in the world? I wish we could run that back. If I, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. That's not very intelligent, Steve Williams. A late hit out of bounds over there. That's not very smart. You're not going to play if you keep doing that. Sewell in the ballgame is a penalty, motion penalty. Brings up a second down at 13 from the 39-yard line. Kelly Pan, uh, Phelps looking for Bobby Grayson. And leading a little bit more. Let's watch Kelly get hit on this replay, Coach. He really took a pretty good shot. And take a look at it again as Phelps goes back to pass. A little pressure put on by Wyoming. Gets a backside rush. Someone broke down backside protection. Kelly in the ball game here. Come on, we'll have better full speed. Good job back. Well, I'll tell you what Chet Winters was watching. That was the rest of those backs was tough as he is. Well, the Sooners picked up a procedure penalty, which uh, went from first and 10 now to a first and 15 from their own 47-yard line. One of the eight penalties on the day. Option play, pitch the ball. Chet Winters with that block chip. Yeah, stay up the field. He might have scored. Buster cut back inside. First and 10. Second and one. Well done, Ledbetter. A little tighter fight, Chet. Shepard will throw the ball. I mean, uh, will throw the ball. Good throw. It Kelly Phelps hit Jim Rockford, the sophomore from Illinois. Flag route, 25 yard gain. Great field position here. There's First a, and 10 at the 11 yard line. Don't make him tight ends just getting set and snap the ball. Turn up Kelly, protect the football. Gets four. Second and six. Weldon, you're a little too wide. Good block, Weldon. Good block line. And then there's a hurdle. So the Sooners, down. Sooners move at 80 yards in just nine plays. And Mike Keeling was taking yeah. on the replay. Kelly, and he points this out and studied the film. Kelly's mechanics and practice has been super. Now he's rushing in the ball game. He's stepping before he gets the ball. And doing so that, when you get in the ball game, the heat of battle, you, you do things that you you got to discipline yourself to do it the way you do in practice. And that's poise, composure. Mike Young Keeling. kids just don't understand it. They revert to old habits. Mike Keeling had the extra point. It's 17 to 13. The Sooners on top. And uh, but Wyoming wasn't done, as most of us know. Coach, what about all the scrimmages we held this fall? Have I think it helped us. I, I think it did. I think the, the contact, uh, obviously, we our backs haven't fumbled a football. I and mean, we've uh, run up inside and pitched the ball outside. We, yeah, it's bound to have helped us. No more scoring in the second quarter, and the Sooners went to the locker room leading 17-13. We'll be back with the second half right after this. A very special day at Owen Stadium in Norman. Yesterday was band day as bands from all over the state of Oklahoma converged at halftime and put on quite a performance to see some of the bands on the field and playing some of their instruments. Coach, you were in the locker room at halftime. What did you tell your team? You no, know, we go over at halftime. We cover things that didn't work the first half and some things that uh, we feel that might help us made us the second half offensively and defensively. Uh, I was sitting with Kelly Phelps at the half. Uh, Galen Hall was going over some blocking schemes with her halfback, fullbacks, and quarterbacks. And while I was sitting there uh, with Kelly, he told me that there's no way he could play the second half. And of course, uh, Daryl was sitting there beside us too. And I said, Daryl, you're going to have to go. And of course, uh, I knew 
Carroll would accept the challenge and do a good job for us because I've had tremendous confidence in both our quarterbacks. I think anybody that's read or followed our camp all preseason, I've said that like, we've got two quarterbacks, I think, can win, and, and obviously we have. Both play identical. It looks like if you, uh, to me, they look exactly alike out there in the things that they do. Both are good players. Of course, it was very hot on the field yesterday. That probably caused the stomach cramps. Maybe a little bit hotter last year at Kentucky. Phil. I think it was hotter at Kentucky game last year. I don't think Wyoming was really prepared for what uh, was in store yesterday. I think our football team was. You know, you lose tremendous amounts of water fluids uh, from your body. Uh, uh, de dehydration, uh, lack of salt caused the cramps uh, that we had yesterday. They lost their quarterback for a while, Davis, because of leg cramps. We lost Kelly for the entire second half because of stomach cramps. And, Quite a few other players were suffering. Uh, Jeff Williams and a few more. First uh, half statistics, 10 first downs for each. The Sooners have 233 total offense compared to 166 for Wyoming. And the big uh, staff there coach six penalties for 50 yards. I think it's the poorest thing that uh, obviously it's shown right here. I, I think we've controlled the ball game with a rushing game. Uh, they have uh, made some key first downs. We have 10 first downs for what we have, 10. Uh, they've had to get, hit the key third down conversion passes, which they did. But we've held the rushing edge here, and 78 yards they've rushed for is not a, a great amount of yardage in the ball game. They rushed for less the second half. We'll be back with the third quarter of the Oklahoma-Wyoming game. Our halftime score, and coaches started the second half kicking off to Wyoming again, and once again, they put on quite a drive. Well, they did the same thing they did the first half. They kept <laughs> their game plan. They move it right down the field and score on us and take the lead in the ball game. Uh, I thought uh, we would play better the second half uh, defensively. You know, I seem to think our football team had some confidence. We played pretty well in the second quarter against them. They didn't make a first down in the second quarter. But now they come out the second half. Uh, they make about four yards here. A little old fullback, scrawny little fella like that. You know, he shouldn't make four or five yards on us. Cut back. Riley makes a play. The quarterback sees the pursuit. And he tries to scramble and make something happen. The option play because with our speed, it's very difficult for them to run wide. Run a trap option. We overrun it, and they cut up inside, and he makes too many yards. We, uh, they just shouldn't be able to make that kind of gain on us in the option play. Go back upstairs again. There's his favorite perfect receiver. strike. I tell you what, the guy threw it perfect. Hit the seam route to Martinez, 20 yards. Brings up a first and ten from the OU 44. Yeah, option, good play. John Foot, 41, sophomore from Los Angeles. Runs a quarterback net from behind. Take a loss there. Brings up a second down and 12 situation from the OU 46. Good close up sprint left and throw back over the middle. And there he is. He was half their offense, like you said, Coach. And Martinez caught, what, nine passes yesterday? It's a good play. He had uh, 190 yards. He's more than half their offense. Good play right there. That's a tackle 80, Ricky Bryan. Second and eight from the OU 23. Keeps the ball in the option play. And then we have a better job of support. Our secondary play poor right there. Really poor. As Rain finally makes the play, we're going to send someone else in there and see if they can play a little bit better. That'll bring up a second and five now as Ruel picks up five yards. Banging on the Oklahoma door again. Third down in one situation from the Oklahoma three-yard line and coaching staff on the sideline. Big play again. And on John Truitt, Thomas Vincent, Gary Lowell. Was able to get the first down. Brings up a first and goal from the one. We'll make it there. They run a quarterback sneak and say he crosses the plane right there. That looked pretty close. I was standing on the sideline and I didn't think he got over. And uh, John Blake didn't think so either. You can see him signaling no way. Well, I wouldn't think he went red, but thought they got over. <laughs> yeah, really. Extra and point is it. good. 80-yard drive and 13 plays and very stubborn Wyoming team goes back up on top, 20 to 17, but. Now the Sooners really began to click. That's when I walked back down their offense. I said, all right, so they've proved to me we can't stop them. So, man, we're going to have to go out to them. We've got to score. Every time we get the football, it's going to be a scoring contest the rest of the afternoon. And it gets it last, is going to win. That's what it turned into the next two possessions. Shepard in the ball game, number eight. Stanley Wilson in the ball game. Good cut, Stanley. Cut back and look at Stanley. On open field, got a chance to score. He fumbles. Our second fumble of the ball game right there. Let's take a look at that again. Stanley Wilson had a lot of running room yeah, on that side. Uh, he's past the safety right there. Good block. See, the safety's knocked down. Great block to Grace in there. I tell you, he's down the boundary. He's fresh in the ball game. He's liable to score from 70, 80 yards out. He was able to pick up nine, which brought up a second down in one situation from the OU 29-yard line. Ball Stanley again. Breaks that tackle. Keeps his balance. Good strength. Picks up to another 10. He's up a first and 10. Get back in the hole. 
Kids are hot dogs. <laughs> Right in the mouth. I hope someday someone hits them right in the mouth, knocks them out. <laughs> 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 someone say, maybe they'll end that and give them back the hook. Quick, quick point at me. <laughs> Bam. Okay, now we're second down at 13-yard line. And Darrell Shepard up the field. Picks up seven on the play. Third down and six from the Oklahoma 43. They're on the option play. Good pitch. And Chet jumps up inside, makes a few yards there, about five. It's fourth and one. Everybody says, oh, well, we're behind here in the ball game. Wyoming, we haven't even stopped yet, and they want us to go on fourth down <laughs> and our end of the field. This proves I'm smarter now. <laughs> the right there. They get the Great ball one yard line. I'd let them go 99 yards and 40 <laughs> yards. <laughs> really? Now they got along with field position again, Coach, and this was an excellent move. Let's take a look at that punt again. Good kick by Michael. He hits a 40, what, seven-yard punt here, and it's only one he had in the ball game. And uh, good Brian Hall, sophomore from Spring Branch, Texas, makes the play. Good play there, Brian. And they got the ball at the three-yard line. Well, they spotted it at the five. We all thought it was, should have been down at the three or even less than that. But uh, I'll take it there. Four. Yeah, really. 97 Rolling yards. Roll the football. Good coverage finally. Riley misses him. A couple more missing. And finally get him down. Ship. Get excited now, defense. Do something. Second down Come and on, ten ship. at the five-yard line. Jackie also had a problem looks with like ships. Go, looks like the ship's going to have to go in the dry dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's coming out a little bit of cramps, too. Yeah, he's got leg cramps. Never can get enough salt out there. Benson. Oh, missing. Thomas, Ooh. boy, the brain hit him right in the mouth. He didn't go down. Thomas missed him. I, I think we put too much tape and garbage on our hands. We can't wrap people up. The guys uh, like pitch the ball in the option play. Going to cut back. Good play. Stephen Whaley. Very they consistent got to punch the football. Now we got field position here. We Great didn't, coaching. So we let them have the ball for about a minute and a uh, half, and they have to punt to us. Uh, instead of for us going on fourth and one at our end of the field, now we got the ball first and ten inside their 40-something yard line, about the 44-yard line. First time. Albert Watts, punt return of the freshman from Los Angeles. Daryl Shepard, hand the ball to Stanley Wilson. Up in there, Stanley. Gets him about 10. He's averaging about 10 yards a crack so far in three carries. Just about everybody did yesterday. First down and 10 from the Wyoming, 34. He averaged seven, over seven yards for the game. Snap. Limes for four or five. Second and six at the 30. And Powell here. Got to move a little bit slower. Here goes Shepard under. And the ball to Wilson. Stays up inside. Guy holds on to him. Wilson gets about 10 more. And he's four carries. He's got 40 yards. Good job of blocking offensive line. Big hole. Tackle folds underneath. Keys block. And here he hits the crack. He runs right through that linebacker. That tackle block. Stanley's got good strength. Good upper body strength. And, you know, short built guys. It's hard to get a hold of. Here's up first and 10 for the Wyoming. 20. Shepard. Great job. Shepard. He's got good quickness. Cuts back in the senior from Odessa High, Odessa, Texas. Puts it in the end zone. Let's take a look at that again. Great running by Daryl Shepard. Came in for Kelly Phelps, of course, who had stomach cramps sitting on the sideline now, but he came in and been telling us, Coach, all the past couple of weeks during fall practices that he can get the job done. He certainly did that here. Good play, good ride, good fake. He handed the ball to Stanley. They tackle Stanley, he pulls the ball out, and good block right there. You see it, Chet Winters knocks the guy. He, Chet Winters put the play in. We can all see Daryl run across the field, but Chet Winters is the reason he score. They should keep statistics for that because he had a couple of great blocks that uh, a lot of touchdowns credit to Chet Winters yesterday and his blocking. Great speed there. from Jacksonville, Shepard. Arkansas, Chet Winters. 44 yards and just four plays. Mike Keeling adding the field goal. As we see, his style, he's moved a little bit uh, straight on more than the soccer style, and he nails one. It's 24-20, and the Sooners have taken the lead. It turned out to be taking the lead for good. Tenth kickoff of the game, Mike Keeling. He got a little into this one, Coach. He finally uh, put the old leg behind this. Well, the guy could have caught it for one. It was a low-line drive, and that's the kind you don't want to kick because they come back at you too fast. You want to hang them up in the air or high. Fullback makes too much. Four yards. Second and six for Wyoming. 20. Hand the ball off again. There's John Blake. Mike Riley. John's a little fresh here. We took Lewis out. Lewis was hurting. Good play, Blake. Get off of him. Go get him, Riley. Miss him. Duck your head. Oh, Brian Hall, we got a chance to ask him. First time we've touched one of their passes. Sophomore misses it. 
Brings up a fourth and five for the Wyoming 25. And again, the Sooners force Wyoming to punt the ball away. Jack Wow will kick the ball. A good punter. The guy was a good punter. Good hang time on the ball. We all noticed. You see what box. that Iowa kid in Iowa beats Nebraska, and the Iowa punter punted six times for a 56-yard average. What means that meant that Nebraska had a long way to go every time. Stanley Wilson. It's about four. Personal foul. Dead ball foul right there. 15 yards against Wyoming. Moves it all the way up to the Wyoming 43-yard line. Good break for the Sooners. Okay, Shepard on the option play. Good block, Terry Crouch. Good cutting on in there, Daryl Shepard. Picks up about seven, eight yards. Second two at 35 now, Wyoming. Bring on to Daryl. Hands the ball to Chet Winters. About two, it's the worst play we run. It's the play I don't want us to run anymore in short yard <laughs> situation. Shep Shepard sneaks for the one. Gets it. First down. 10 yards to go from the Wyoming 32-yard line, but that's the way the third quarter ended. But the Oklahoma Sooners is finally taking the lead at 24 to 20. And they're on their way as they score two quick possessions. Look like they're about to score a third in a row. We'll be back with the fourth quarter of the Sooner Wyoming game right after this. Fourth quarter leading, and the uh, coach looks pretty good now, right now. Well, I think we've demonstrated that we're a pretty good offensive team, at least against Wyoming, and uh, uh, we've made them punt a few more times than we did the first half, and I think we're in charge of the ball game. But of course, 24 to 20, uh, the game isn't won by any means. Anything can happen, and we don't have enough margin. And I thought if we could score here and get 11 points at this point in the ball game, we're going to win it. Lyons tried to block for winners right there. There's good support out of the secondary, and we don't get anything. We take a loss there, and poor old Chet finally gets a chance to carry the ball, and he gets nothing, and, and uh, because uh, we didn't get the corner block. Shepard, super play. Watch Buster Lyons, great hands, great speed. I've said that's where Buster would be a pro receiver. He's great speed, and he's got great hands, and uh, he would be a great flanker back in professional football. We're going to take a look at this again. But like you said, Coach, excellent catch by Buster Rimes. He shows that uh, he can not only run the ball, but he's also a great receiver. Good fake and good throw by Darrell Shepard. A bootleg throw back to the wing back here. Darrell sets and throws. Now watch Buster go up in the air. I think he leaps, splits. It looks like he's look at that, stretched out there in the air to catch that. Both feet off the ground. Two steps ahead of the defender. You know, I'll go to your practices. I see you work on this play and, uh, you know, a lot of repetition with uh, Coach Jones and everybody, and it really paid off there. Extra point blocked, short, no right, good. That uh, concerns you. Right up the middle right there, snatches our guard and, and bring a man in behind him. Snatches the biggest guy on the team, Steve Williams. He's supposed to be a wrestler. Dr. Death ought to bite the guy's <laughs> hand, he grabs it. He probably will oh, growl They ought to line up away. <laughs> ugly as he is, they ought to line up on the other side. With that new haircut he's got, I, I wouldn't line up over him. Oh, That's Steve sure. and I get along all right. He says he keeps my picture in his locker. <laughs> Hero, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> 30 to 20 as Mike Keeling kicks off. Uh, Wyoming takes over on their own 30 yard line. First and 10. Come on, so secondary support there. Jackie Ship 49. That's the way you go chase the ball. That's how you stop the option play. Baron Walker. Ship was the leading tackler. Option as far play. Going to throw the ball. And zing. They hit him. And he's out of bounds. <laughs> Lucky us. And throw it. Throw back screen. He falls down. Did you have that covered pretty well, Coach? Well, he, he was going to make a few yards. I don't, I don't think he made the first. Sure don't got to punt the there. ball. Got to punt the ball. So we're making a punt right now. We're controlling the ball game. Our defense is playing a little better. Well, the thing is they haven't hit the key pass. They haven't thrown us quite as well. They kicked 42 yards, no return. First and 10, and we put our different backs in the ball game right now. Shepard's in there. We've got Sewell. We well, led better at fullback. Our other backs are, are tired. Buster said he's out of gas. And... Uh, and unleaded, and then uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we've had Sewell and Alvin Ross, the Chicago. Uh, and I told her Sewell and Ross, hey, don't try to score, just hold on to the football. Go block and hold on to the football. Alvin carries with his first carry for five yards. Weldon led better, good tough run than Weldon. Weldon gets six. First and ten at the 44 yard line. A lot of freshmen saw action yesterday. Well, so we we played uh, a lot, we wanted to. There's a motion penalty. Darrell gets about four or five. He fumbled the ball after he's down. I know their coaches said that they thought it was a fumble. I looked to me at... Uh, look to us on the front that he was down. Yeah, he hit like the fumble. Yeah. Put the ball away. Darrell won't be in question about it. Come on, pass protect, pass protect. There's a good job, Darrell. Running speed. Good job of running. Tough running there, and he gets his first and 15. Now he made 13, so he got it to his second and two. It's a good play. 
See another first ball. Man. That's Sewell. Makes a good cut. I tell you, Sewell is going to be a good player. He's only about 190. He's six three and a half. Uh, he's got great speed, and he is going to be a 225-pound running back from San Francisco, California. I asked his eight. mom and dad when I went out to sign him. I said, why in the world are we getting your son? And, and the <laughs> daddy said, well, I'm a great Sooner fan. I said, why? He said, well, I was stationed at one, Max Westheimer Field in 1955-56, never missed a game, never saw Oklahoma <laughs> lose a game. I said, someday I hope my son can play it. I have a son that can play at Oklahoma. And he does have. What airports you're recruiting to, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> and he does have a son that can play. Has Weldon Ledbetter and good tough running up inside. You sit and replay. Weldon makes a good cut back. Weldon weighs 217 now, and he runs a 4.5. He's got good strength, and he's a good fullback. Good, good cut there, Weldon. Picks up eight on the play. Puts the Sooners first and ten from the Wyoming 30-yard line, and tell you what, they're really starting to knock on the door again. Motion. They run a dive play to Sewell. Nothing blocked up front. The tackle comes free in the backfield. And then rookie plays we got. There's Shepard, a good option, good read, good cut, and shoots the guy. Good job of running Daryl Shepard. Let's take a look at that again. Great job by Daryl Shepard. You can really see the speed that he has, a senior. We'll run the option, read, play here, and uh, you'll notice he'll come hit the fullback right here, Stanley Wilson. See the end? He pulls it back out. See, that's a good job, Daryl. Good quickness. Now he's alone. The guy has got to take the pitch, man. If number three rolled back, we pitch it, and Chet might score. Stay with him, Chet. Stay with him, stay with him. And Darrell takes it on his own once he's up the field, goes north and south with it, 11, 12 yard line. Big play, Darrell, 18 yards. First and 10th, 11, Darrell Shepard again. Put the ball away, Darrell, protect it. We, go <clears throat> we have a penalty. Oh, gosh, we have a penalty holding. Terry Crouch, Captain Crouch. I'm gonna take your captain license away, Crouch. Well, that, that was a big penalty. I right here, and we underthrow, and we had him beat. Right here, Grayson runs a good route. He's got the guy beat in the end zone. We lay it over him. We score a touchdown. We underthrow in the end zone. We don't get to kick the field goal here, get a three points, and they get the ball to the 20-yard line. So we lose the scoring opportunity. Mike Riley tackles him from behind. Defensive end. Brings up a second down and seven from the Wyoming 23. Want to throw the football. He throws in the ground. He's getting tired. Maybe he's getting cramps in the arm. That's why he threw him down there. <laughs> he threw, he is. threw enough first half. Get him, get him, get him. Mike Riley misses it. And he missed tackles, Mike. Ooh, good hit right there, secondary. He's going to remember that. Low, hit him in the mouth. Ball comes loose. we got to punt it. So we've made him punt three or four times in a row here. But he kicks it 44 yards. And we're going to have a fair catch here by Watts, number 17, the freshman from Los Angeles. That's a smart play. I was sitting Shepard up at quarterback. Rhymes and winners in the game now. And there's Mr. Stanley Wilson in the ball game, too. Defensive back got a mouthful of Stanley then, and he gets five. Second down to five from the Oklahoma 38 yard line. Hand the ball in a blast play to Chet Winters. Get about four, third and one. Oh, get it up the field, Chet Winters. Good job, Chet. First and 10. The tight rope the sideline there. Back 10, the Chet. First and 10 is 48. Got the run, Chet. Junior from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Shepard under. Run handoff the football. Fullback, the end didn't take him. And he gets about four yards. Second and six. And the ball back to Stanley Wilson. You think he didn't strong? Good cut there, Stanley. Good run. Oh, Stanley looked like he might score. 24 yards to Stanley. Watch his strength right there. He just flat runs over that tackle, hits him right in the mouth and hit gear and shoulder pad. Makes a good cut, jukes that guy. Fullback knocking over a tackle. Probably the best okay, sophomore if that athlete. Defense, you know, if he hadn't had to make that cut, he might have scored. Because look at Grayson there. Grayson's really busting his rear end to get downfield to make a block. And Shepard pitches the ball, and Chet Winters makes a great block. And when you block him like that, uh, Buster puts the 4-4 on him, and he's down 17 yards to the Take, yard line. take a look at that again. We'll see Chet Winters block again coming up here on the replay. Good job, Daryl Shepard. Good pitch. Good execution. Fullback seals. Good hits him right in the mouth at number three and knocks him out. Hits the crack. And here's some good hustling downfield for our offensive line. Good block by Grayson. See Bobby Grayson keeping his feet all the time and stalk blocking the deep man. First and goal to three. Daryl Shepard. Good option play. Good job of running. Good block buster. Darryl puts him in the end zone, touchdown. 67 yards and seven plays. Keelan kicks it, and it's the score, and the final score is 37 to 20. The drive by the Sooners is Darryl Shepard uh, taking a look at it again. 
Makes a good cut right there. Lester Ryan's up in the top of your screen. Keeping his man, goes to the ground. Stops him just enough so Darrell can use that speed he has and cuts back in. Checks the ball, Darrell, and gets it in the end zone. Six points, Oklahoma. Keeling, as we mentioned, added an extra point on this play and made it to 37 a 20 game. You see Michael lining it up right here. Sooner offense, over 500 yards total offense in the opening game. 5-15. That's why I said it's a good day. Go out and score 37 points and had a chance to score some more, but have 450 yards rushing. We didn't rush nearly that much. I think it's the best open game of statistics wise since uh, 73 against Baylor. I know we didn't get that on Kentucky last year. I know that on the two Vanderbilt <laughs> teams we opened against, we didn't get it. Those of us remember uh, that. You know, we, uh, it's been a while since we've had an open game that we only lost one fumble and make over 500 yards offense. First and 10 from the 24 line. Uh, 47, good play. Benson, 38 linebacker, 98. Danny Wilson, sophomore from Sherman, Texas. Option play, pitch the ball, good play there. Number 19, Keith Stanberry from Mount Pleasant, Texas. Quarterback back to throw. Across the middle, knocked down by Shadell Brett with 47 there. There's Keith uh, Stanberry, the freshman in the ball game. Uh, they got to punt the ball away. Danny and Bradley. Danny Bradley is a Pine Bluff, Arkansas freshman, uh, fair catches, and we got Rod Pegues in the ball game. Freddie Sims, fullback, freshman fullback from Tucson, Arizona, number 23, carries the football. Now you think this Pegues can't get on his motorcycle, I'm telling you, he can fly like the rest of those quarterbacks. He's a great athlete, coach. Really a good runner. Showed it right there, and he, he wanted to go the rest of the way. <laughs> He's probably got more speed than the rest of them. good block, Stanley Wilson. Riding like a runaway rocket. Like a balloon to turn loose out there. Here's uh, Kelvin White. Kelvin White, the freshman from Lubbock, Estacada High School. Oh, my old Victor Hicks. Here's Ryan, I mean, Shepard back to throw again. Bootleg, that's the play that Ryan scored on. Uh, uh, great catch, great play there. To, so give us a lead touchdown. And of course, the final 37 to 20. And we'll be back to wrap up the game right after this. 37 to 20, the Sooners win the first game. and. Now the next game, of course, two weeks from Saturday, and that'll be against Southern Cal. Coach, you don't like that off week. Well, I think we get better if you play. I've said, said that many times. I think it's an advantage for Southern California to play two games going into our ball game, and uh, it'll be their third, and it'll be only our second with a week layoff. I think there's things that you can accomplish in the week layoff, but nothing prepares you better to play than playing a football game, especially when you have a young football team. We've got six sophomores on defense, and after our play yesterday, it's obvious that we need some game experience and to play, but at the same time, you need to win. If we played, we needed to win and be 2-0 and when we go play Southern Cal and, and Los Angeles. And uh, right now, uh, ABC television has got to look pretty good on oh, picking that game right now. Smell like a rose you know, right they, now. At huh? one time, they weren't going to take that USC uh, Oklahoma game, but after Michigan losing yesterday, and of course uh, uh, Nebraska and, and Alabama falling out of the picture yesterday with their defeats, uh, you know, USC and Oklahoma are going to be right right up there uh, at that point in time. Uh, a pretty good plum for them. Good luck coaching two weeks against Southern Thank Cal. Thank you. For Oklahoma head coach Barry Switzer, I'm Ron Thulin. We'll see you in two weeks for Oklahoma football.